Hey guys, uh, so Father's Day is around the corner and we are looking for gift ideas. So I found this in Michael's. I was getting some transfer tape and I found this little guy. And it was about $2.99, $3.99, don't remember exactly. So get a bunch of these in, on Michael's because you can personalize the handle is actually wood. Let me show you what it is. It's a tiny little hammer that has no use at all, but a hey, MacGyver fix a plane with a paper clip, so ah, you can do wonders with this. Anyways, so on the back, you can open it and you have a little pliers that actually that might be useful for something. It doesn't have the way for a nail, but there you go. Do you have that part? And you just tie it back, back in. Then you have a flat screwdriver and a can opener. And you have a little knife. So it's a nice little gift, you know, just a little detail. And most important for laser people is made of wood. Now it's a rough wood. Uh, I don't expect this to burn any great, but we're gonna give it a try. So since I'm not making a jig for this hammer, we're going to use our shapeshifter. So let me show you how this works. So you untie the screw and you are free to move these parts. So in this case, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna push it like right about the center in a good position that is there. And I'm gonna push the pins just to make sure that this is in place. Let's see it there. And you will see the pins already like taking a little shape of the thing. So let's say that this is where I want it. Right? And you tie it up, holding it your piece. So you tie this up. So this doesn't move. But now you can take this out and you have a silhouette to repeat the job if you have more than one little knife or something. So I'm gonna put it on here on the X tool. So a lot of people say like, oh, the pins are out. Well, see the logo, the light pixel, you just should be able to read it. So the pins are not out, the pins are on the back so you can actually close the door, FYI. So, okay, we have it there. I wanna make sure that everything is nice and tight now that it's on the machine. So I just wanna make sure, there you go, tight it up. So now we have this here, right? Just a tiny little piece. So you will notice that it's not like the most stable thing because the shape of this. So you can use little shims, you can use little other stuff to hold it. I'm gonna use, in fact, this little guy here. And I'm gonna try to put it under just a little bit to see if it works. Maybe not. It's actually pretty stable though. So let's take my cup out. Remove your cup all the time. Focus to your piece of wood. So we have that in focus, and since I have another one in my hands, I'm gonna measure the area. So get a caliper. If you don't have a caliper, when you order something from us, we send you a caliper. Uh, just add it, it's like a dollar thing. Uh, cheaper than Walmart. So I'm have about 24 millimeters, and probably this is going to be about six will do. So 24 by six. So I'm here in Excel Creative Space. I'm going to connect my F1. There is a, no, it's only three days. I don't want to do that. So first of all, I know that my area was 24 by six. So that's what I'm gonna do here just to begin with. So 24 and here the size six. Now, another thing that I already know is that the laser is basically on top. So if I put this here and I put this here and probably just a tap lower based on where it is, I have basically my little hammer area. So you want to see where this is, as you see it right now, lower the power, I want to frame it. So I want to see where that square is. So you can see the square is a little off low. So once you're in framing mode, you select your item again, select your item 
and using your keyboard arrows, you are going to be able to move it. So you just move the item and you see the light of your laser moving up. All the way to the right. There, maybe a little more. A little bit more up. And I think we, we are there. Maybe one more. There we go. Okay. All right, so now we have the area. Now that I have the area, I'm gonna stop the framing. This is my area, okay? This is not what I'm gonna engrave. So I'm saying, this is not my engraving, I'm gonna turn it off. And also, I'm going to lock this. So now this is my working area. So, this is not a drill. Why not? Let's make this one smaller to fit the area. I'm gonna zoom in for you here. This is not a drill. And just to make it a little bit prettier, I'm gonna choose a different font. This is not a this is not the best. What happened to the other one? There you go. This is not the best font. So let's see. I actually like kind of like this. It's kind of a silly font. And we should stack it to get a better size. This is not a drill. Now, some of you know that I like to do the stacking text and different fonts and stuff. So we're gonna do that really quick in this one. Super simple. This is like a really quick project. So you have a drill there, the letter A. I'm gonna put the letter A here. And I'm gonna change the font for this letter A. So let's do something more squarey. Uh, maybe this one. No, I don't like how that looks. The basic aerial. And I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Hopefully after I finish moving all these text, we can still read it. And now this is going to be, I want to do vertical text. Um, so one of the things that you can do for the vertical text, you can do it like this and change basically the distance like this it's a little bit too much on, on the T one more on the T let's see the size and I'm gonna do capitalize on this one just because not why not because I always capitalize everything that I shouldn't I'm gonna do this text like this. Now the A is gonna be capital as well, but the A is going to go a little bigger. And for this part, I'm gonna change this phone as well really quick. I'm just kind of a running on, on this. What about this? This works. So here, I'm going to put the other text that I have and I'm going to use kind of the same font that was an impact, uh, well compact, maybe use something similar. I'm going to move this one a little bit down just to get the overall area and I want to deform this one so I turn off the proportions to make it a little more squeeze so I'm making space for this one here 
So my whole idea on this is just to show you how quick you can design something for a tiny thing that you can find on the random places like going to Michael's, right? And I was going for something else. I wasn't planning to do anything like this. All right, so we have kind of a decent space in there. The other thing they're gonna do, just because I don't like that space here, is going to be a little line. Okay, so I have everything on it, and I think we can just try our first run on this. So, I'm gonna show you something interesting that you can do here. So I'm gonna select everything. Remember the one on the back is lock. So I'm gonna do engrave so you will see the text as a solid. Now, I'm gonna do something really cool here. Uh, this is something that I like to do on the text all the time. So I'm gonna make a square, a little bit bigger than the word drill. Okay, so just for you to see it better, it's gonna be here. So this is square that is here. It's gonna be uh, a combine option. So I'm gonna make this combine. You erase it. So let's change this to square. Engrave and where it is. So let's make sure that this is on the back first. Let's send this to the back after all that all these are now sent to back. So now I should have the text. Let's try again. Now the so that means that the blue is going to be the engraved and this is going to be the wood color. So let's put this back. And that's where we are. So we have a whole design in minutes. It's super simple, super easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. All right, so now that we have this, we're gonna work on our settings. So this wood, automatically when you see it here, you can use your nail and you can see how hard the wood it is. So it doesn't feel like it's a really hard wood, but also doesn't feel like it's a bass wood. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go AC panel. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try light first. I don't wanna go crazy on this, okay? So if I need an extra pass, I just go and do an extra pass. So I'm gonna do this in probably a thousand. That's faster like this. So it's a small. So I wanna do you should, uh, 160. Also. You said speed 1,000. Oh, I, I put 100, sorry about that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go, so I have this. I wanna frame it just to make sure that me, my area is fine. Mm -hmm. So now you see where it's going. So it seems to be fine. And now that we know everything, I wanna hit process here. Send it to the laser. I want to hit start, and we are going to do this. This is going to be actually quite fast. Let's see what this does. So, see, you can actually close it with that whole thing. That's it, super quick. Let's see, Let's see what it did. So, I think I need an extra pass a little bit more because it's not really strong so that actually seems to be like a bamboo piece so since it's a little harder than I expected and again this is some wood that I don't have a single idea what it is so I'm gonna now add more power I'm gonna add 80 because it was really really and I'm not going to change anything else I want to see what's going on with this first so process That's why I bought two, it's the only one. Keep in mind that I'm not moving it, so whatever he's doing, he's doing it there. We're trying to go a little bit darker. Yeah, we can, we, can, cute, we can try more. So in this case, instead of adding more, I'm gonna press a button on the side twice to repeat the job. Yeah. 
So now that we have that, this is why you want to kind of rig your stuff, right? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna do the second hammer. <laughs> hammer. Yeah, I say hammer. I should have this off before doing the video, but that's a whole purpose of there's no behind the scenes. My mistakes are really obvious. All right, so I have this. Again, it's the same thing, so I just wanna make sure that everything is closed like in the other one. So we have already our little temporary fixture in place. I'm gonna put this in place. So I'm not changing anything. I'm not doing it on the computer. And this is why the batch processing works for everyone. So I'm gonna press here. I'm gonna make sure that focus is fine because you know, thicker wood, whatever. So one thing is underneath the round button on the side, you have a little other button. When you press it once, it shows you, you can see, it shows you the preview that you were seeing before. It's the same preview, see it, they're moving? Okay, so you don't need to go back to your computer and doing all that. If you have the same file, you're repeating the job multiple times, you can really actually close everything and just keep working on the laser. Or make your own sweatshop and put your kids to press the button. So close your lid, safety first, and I'm gonna tap it twice. And it will start again, the same job in the same place. I'm gonna tap it on one more time. There we go. And there it is. So if you're gonna do the other side, now what you need to do is take it out, put the other side of that little hammer, you know, just flip it and put it there. Move again, uh, again your fixture to have it on the other side. So I would recommend you're gonna make 20 of this, make 20 on one side jig everything again to any the other side and again this is a 399 299 little hammer on michael's so i don't know if it's on the website uh i'm not sponsored by michael's or anything like that but i think this was cute you know and if you are kind of broke you know this can be the gift for your dad still it's a nice thing and again reference my guyver playing with a paper clip, this will do wonders. So there you have it. Uh, this is a gift idea. If you guys want to do it, uh, it will work with a F1, it will work with a Rolly, it will work with any laser. Really, you can just do anything about framing with one of these jigs, with a couple rulers, if you are a little bit more uh, into spending time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like what you saw, please for, don't forget to subscribe, leave us a comment below. Give us a thumbs up, that always help us. And as usual, fire the laser.